Hey guys, how's it going today? It's June 8th today. We are gonna head down to that field that's mostly PP. There's 16 acres there that is not eligible for PP acres anymore, so we gotta get it seeded, get some cropping history on there. So we are heading down there with the Salford and the 600 quad number two. We're going down to work up, try to dry it out a bit. We know it's definitely way too wet to get our T-Track 8430 and planter down there, so I think the guys are gonna put the seed in the interrogator and actually got to broadcast it out there with the interrogator. No, we're not, It's we know it's not gonna yield what uh, a planter would be, obviously, but it, it's our last resort. We gotta get something out there. It's supposed to rain an inch, hopefully. Hopefully we do get an inch, because all the other crops need it really bad, but it's supposed to rain an inch the next two days, half inch tonight half inch tomorrow something like that so we got to get it seeded before that happens because it's already extremely wet and it's only going to get worse so now's our chance we're going to take the time we <coughs> <coughs> Jesus <clears throat> Woo! so we're going to take the uh, beautiful sunny day today with wind and we should be spraying but it's obviously way too windy so we're going to take this day and we're going to get them 15 acres seeded, get some cropping history hopefully out of it. Off to the field we go. Another beautiful windy day in Minnesota. I wanted to show you guys the corn that dad planted down here, the seven acres that he was out here planting that day. Corn is uh, pretty small, but coming up better than I thought it was going to for being a 65% soil moisture in furrow at two inches and it was really sidewall was really smeared in the V and the trench wasn't closed up very well so I am amazed that it looks this good might get some good yields out of the big seven acre patch so basically I gotta go out there and do around that big cattail slough and there's a channel through the center that needs to be done also. That's what I'm planning on doing. Hey look, it's dusty. Woo! It won't be for long, that I can promise. So I did actually spray all of this. Well, black dirt now, as you can see, all this brown dead vegetation was basically some sort of grass, some grass of some sort. We did get a good kill on that. No weeds growing yet. So this green vegetation right here is what I'm going for. Hopefully we'll see how much of it I can get worked up. We'd like to get it all worked up, get it seeded, and or just worked up to try to control the grass. This is super hard and clumpy right in this area because when we were down here with the sulfur the first time, it was super wet and as you can see by the tracks behind the tractor and by the sprayer, when we sprayed it, it was just super wet. It still is pretty wet actually, but we're gonna try and control it the best we can here. This isn't working very well. I have never gotten a quad track stuck, but today could be the day. Taking back our field. Well, this was less than ideal. We got her locked in. It stalled me out for horsepower. Clutch drop. Woo, doggy. I was kind of joking about getting stuck, but I guess you only drive over that spot once. I'm gonna quit playing in this corner. That scared the heck out of me. I don't even dare send the interrogator near that. So I'm going over it for the second time here. The first time it just kind of cut channels in it. Now I'm going at a different angle. You can see it's getting it a lot better, a lot blacker. It's cutting it a lot, a lot better now. The second time across it. Just for you guys that don't know, you may ask, well, how come you're not planting where you did this, I don't know, two, three weeks ago? Well, this field was supposed to be planted into corn. The cutoff date, on corn, it's June 1st, then you start losing it a percent per day. I believe Dad's talked about this. The rest of this field that probably could be planted is gonna be PP'd because it's supposed to be a corn field. So we're gonna PP it corn, 
this uh, what I'm working up right now we're gonna plant in the soybeans we could plant the rest of this field in the corn too but this is gonna be into soybeans because we learned from last year do not plant corn in June it doesn't work out well for you just don't yield it's super wet come fall so we're gonna plant soybeans into this because we got to get cropping history back on these acres because you from this area the last few years have been extremely wet so we are never had the chance to get in here to plant this so that's why we're looking at the conditions that we are out here correct me if i'm wrong in the comments on any of that but i believe that's pretty pretty close to truth there or is the truth that's why we're out here trying to get some cropping history on here which we got to do it's sinking pretty good there So I'm going to be leaving this tractor down here after I get done second passing this. Hopefully this afternoon we can come down with the floater before the rain and broadcast some soybeans out here. Then we're going to rework it, work over the soybeans that are broadcasted out, try to get dirt up on top of the soybeans. Then the rain tonight should get them set, hopefully, if it don't rain too much and flood this all again. This is what we're, what we're hoping for not ideal of course but it's what we got to do and i'm definitely going to be bringing the yankum rope because i don't have high hopes for him making it without getting stuck or whoever does it oh man got it a little dirty again okay well wait for it to dry till this afternoon is the plan and then come down spread it sulfur it again Mama's come got me. She's taking Instagrams of me. Never go anywhere without your lunch, even if it's just an hour. Next job. You're on duty today, huh? I am. Yep. I think we had almost all the Larson vehicles at the intersection of from the farm. Why? They're just all driving around? <laughs> A lot of things about tile uh, couplers and six inch and eight inch and Merlin turn around and I had to catch Merlin and Eric and your dad and Randy and then, then I met your wife coming with with food and there's nobody there but <laughs> sounds like normal chaos then I drive right by you which I was hoping you didn't see well, I was wondering why you were at that end of the I was field. gonna tell you that I was like I'm just checking out to see how much the water went down around here, I really honestly. I You're just doing the section drive? Honestly, I didn't see you. <laughs> and I forget which one it is that's yours. Yeah? You have a lot of places, you know. There's a couple of them. I've labeled it Crazy Town. Yep. Off we go. Where are we going? Back to the farm to eat some food. Oh, good idea. I just met your... I told you that. I don't know what she's... <laughs> <laughs> the abuse. Uh, yeah. Not only for my wife, but for my mother. Well, that's a good thing you had a little toughening up before you met her. <laughs> Isn't <laughs> that the truth? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I almost got stuck. Yeah, I believe it. It was pretty bad. If you drive on it once, you're fine, but if you go on it twice, you go down. In the summertime, they should make you eat cold food. You wouldn't like cold So hot. Because you eat sandwiches out of your pail all year, you say you don't want sandwiches. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's a dilemma. Then. Would you rather have soup? No. <laughs> <laughs> no soup for you. No soup for you. <laughs> There's your words of the day from Duggo. I think we should start a new segment. Dinner time with Duggo. <laughs> So, here's the dilemma. Here's a dilemma. Is it dinner, supper, or lunch? This is dinner. When, when's tell lunch? The, tell the people. Which lunch? <laughs> Forenoon or afternoon? Amy didn't know what dinner was neither when I married her because she was a town girl. You wake up, you do the chores, and then you come in for four or breakfast, or would you have breakfast? I really am vague on that. I think I don't you know. did both. You came in and had breakfast. So you, and you had to have... Worked. Forenoon lunch at nine o'clock in the morning. You come in for sandwiches, and, and then dinner is at noon. And then about three, four o'clock in the afternoon, you had forenoon lunch. No, afternoon lunch. Afternoon. Did I? Oh you yeah. Forenoon is before noon, which is dinner. 
And who took care of you during that time? Who's on first? Who made you all this food and lunches? Oh, our mom. Day after mom. day. My mom. Yeah, she's amazing. And then supper's at whatever time, right before dark? Bedtime. Bedtime, <laughs> right I was going to say. Bedtime. Oh, and there is a bedtime snack, though. <laughs> How are you not 400 a pounds? Chips. A bag of chips. Used to work. Just he eats supper at home and then opens the chip bag for the crackers. I'm like, what are you doing? You just ate. Oh, I would have a snack. So that's a snack, not a lunch. I don't even know what time of the day it is no it's more. It's 9 o'clock at night, and that's a snack, not lunch. We should have it at, what, do you, what would you call that? Bedtime snack. No <laughs> crackers in bed, though. That's a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You had dinner time Duggo segment. So hot in here. <laughs> well, we got the floater out. Fan wouldn't turn on, so we had to call Cat. Cat came out. Josh is his name, real nice guy. Uh, he came out, fixed a wire that was pinched off or something. So that's fixed. Now we're gonna grab the Yankum rope off this quad track, bring down, because the potential of being stuck is quite high. So that's what we're doing. I'll bring my two inch shackle too. So this was the shackle that I was talking about the other day when I got the, I think it was the planter stuck. This is a sh soft shackle and I'm super excited about this thing for going into semi bumpers because you can't get the bigger ends on ropes inside the bumper. So I'm hoping that this fits in there because last year we uh, ripped off a deer, deer guard grill off of one of our semis. So I'm hoping that this here will save us chains breaking and save our bumpers from being ripped off. That's my hope. But I'm bringing it with today in case we need it. I really don't intend on getting stuck today, but you, you never know what happens. You just never know. Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. That's nice. Doggo? I wonder if he always drives around with Lore's band all over the back of his pickup. Some people. You're gonna fall over, aren't you? Don't you fall over. strong in that light. You think he's gonna get stuck? Is he gonna ram me? Is your sunroof open up? That worked good for the camera. Stick oh the camera yeah, off. I don't want to open it. Oh, oh, there he goes! Yep! Come on, yep. baby, keep her going! Got the rope. We'll come get you before you're framed out. I don't know why he I, I that. told you we'd get why stuck. He, he, he should have done that. He should. I'm gonna have a talk with him when I get you shouldn't back. know what went in the mud. Oh god. I told him. I t <laughs> I told him I couldn't afford another Duggo on my name this year, and he's gonna rudder. This is why I brought the rope with. I knew this was going to happen. Should've Wait till he gets it. to that other corner. Should have pee peed it. Gotta plant it. Always gotta plant everything. That, that's why we got this. Can here. we pull it out backwards then? We're going to pull it out backwards. You just give him a little Yankee. Pull the, tr the thing out backwards or pull him forwards? You're going to drive up to him and you're going to back up. Yeah, that would be calling pulling him out forwards and backing up with the quad track. If you gotta I be would... difficult, that's how we're gonna do it. I'm the difficult one. Well, this was exciting. I'm so glad this happened. Could you get in your tractor now? How many cameras do you like in your face at once? We get stuck more than the average Joe, it's starting to seem like. Quad to the rescue. Yank him. Yank him again. The key to keeping everyone's tempers down in these type of situations, put a camera in their face. They tend not to blow up when there's a camera in their face. The big sweet got her done. I told you I couldn't afford any more Duggos on my name. That was too easy. I hope it comes out easy. Boy, it's soft here. It happened quick. And it happened fast. 
Gotta get that perfect picture. Not a very big step there, is it? Japers. Japers, I tell you what. These are the type of situations that are so fun to me. Remember to get yourself a Yankum rope. This one could be a little bit more difficult than the average stock for us. Definitely a full send. All the people that follow us on Instagram and Snapchat get to see this happening live, pretty much. Pretty much live. How's it feel? I'm going back in. <laughs> She's a bit greasy. Yeah, that was cool. Look at this. Oh, that's some good stuff there. At least where it's laying, those seeds will find moisture. Boy, that rope is light, isn't it? Still heavy for an old guy like me. Hey, what happened to this hammer? I found that. Slightly used, but... Show Eric. The road blade. Okay, uh, pull that thing up and get that nut out of there. I got to go. <laughs> We're holding up progress. It's only got 10 acres to go. You swear he's got 10,000. Japers. And he's back at it. Oh, boy. Horse fly. Got it. It's dead. That was unfortunate. So if you can see the point that it, it just literally isn't even possible to drive a planter. Well, it can't even drive a floater out here, much less a planter. That's why we're doing this to get some crop because some crop's better than no crop. So that's why we're out here doing this. There's always next year, right? Do you see where I almost got stuck down there? Be careful. It's vicious. No response. Hammer it! Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, he made it. I was confident. I was confident he'd make it. Japers. Well, now that he's done with it, that means I gotta go through it. But if he made it, I should make it. If I don't make it, we got big trouble. I love the way that thing sounds. Right down there is where I almost got stuck. See, he's sending it. Oh! 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 oh keep her going! Oh! He's keeping her going. Oh. oh, he almost stalled. He almost stalled. <laughs> oh, gosh. 2019 keeps giving. Did you clean your shorts out yet? Call it good. Don't go back in there. Ah, uh, there's a half a pass in there, and I don't think I want to try. No. Nope. No, call her, <laughs> call her quits. We got 13.2 acres right now. Quit, that's good. Perfect. Perfect. Call her good. You even spreading anything? Tell him come over here and we'll look at it. Come over here, we'll take a look at it. Jeez, my nipples are hanging out. <laughs> my nipple was hanging out. <laughs> it's nice and cold in there, he said. Jesus. Get close enough? Seeding is completed. Now it's time to incorporate the soybeans, which soybeans are actually really resilient creatures. They really don't need to be covered all that well as long, as long as you get timely rains, which hopefully this forecast of rain does actually happen. And then we should be fine. There's plenty of subsoil moisture. Okay, onward we go. Well, there it is. 
we're all done. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we catch some rain shortly. I have a feeling this is gonna be a learning experience, but we'll see how it turns out for us. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Again, if you guys are interested in any Yankum ropes, use Larson Farms, get 5% off. Otherwise, I'm heading home. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up for more interesting content from us. See you guys next time.